So this is the block from the Cobra. And this is what happened to it. And that's what the pistons and rods should look like. And this is what the one that fucked everything up looks like. But, obviously it's getting a new engine, but here's my idea, okay? Now obviously, I like computers. I like to build them, I like anything to do with them, and I like cars. And this is my dream car, and I'm going to keep this till the day I die, and what happens after that, I don't care. But, I'm going to take the engine that was in this car, and I'm going to turn this into a computer. Right down here, it has a perfect opening for a power supply, so that's where that's going to go. All the cables can be ran underneath and through the cylinders. I'm going to mount the 480 rod that I have in the back of uh, my case now is going to go here. I'll get another 480 and mount it here, obviously because it's all water-cooled. The motherboard tray I have, I'm going to take from uh, another one of my computers. I have an aluminum motherboard tray, which will match the aluminum block. Obviously, it's going to get cleaned up. Motherboard's going to mount here. All the SATA cables, everything can be ran through the cylinders and be hidden underneath the radiators. Uh, the, what's it called, AIO pump, I'll mount probably here where the oil pump went, so that'll sit in the front. Like, this is going to be such a cool fucking project. I am so excited for this, actually. And this would have been just scrap aluminum. And the cool thing is, is that this block weighs, from, like, I can pick it up with one hand. It probably weighs, I don't know, 40, 50 pounds, maybe less. And that's probably about the same as what my uh, Tower 900 case weighs. So it's not even like it's going to be annoying to move around. It's going to weigh exactly the same as my computer does now. This is going to be so fucking sick. Hopefully I actually do it. But like I'm super stoked on this idea. And I just wanted to share that. Okay, so here's another quick update. Now, if you look, the where the crank rests is dead center of the motor, right? And unfortunately, where the oil pump is, it's offset, which takes material away from the front, correct? And down here in the valley pan, or in the valley, sorry, the uh, the spot where I originally mounted the motherboard tray brackets um, is also offset. So that threw everything off a bit. That's why this one's bolted over here, and then that's bolted over there. And of course, I put a couple of zip ties because it's got to stick with the automotive theme. Like, every fucking car in here probably has a zip tie somewhere or another, right? And my engine's going to be no different, or my computer, sorry, engine computer, right? Uh, so there's a screw down there, but it doesn't quite go tight enough, and it keeps this a little wiggly, so I just put some zip ties there, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I got a hook on here that hooks up to this to keep the motherboard tray stable. Like, it'll move a little bit because nothing's buttoned down because I want to mount the motherboard first, get everything eyeballed in. This is roughly one inch from the edge of this to there, and I did the same on this side to get it dead centered. Um, another thing, I wanted to originally mount the radiators flat against the cylinders, right? Like you'll see in my original photos. But you can't now because my motherboard's 12 inches wide by 10 and a half inches deep, so the tray has to be this wide. So in order to mount the mother or the, uh, the radiators the way I wanted to, it would show a bit of the cylinders and it would look kind of silly. So what I did is I took two L brackets and I bent them around the uh, spot for the head bolts. Or no, this is a coolant passage. So I bent them around that and then straight up so that what I could do was right there. Now I'm going to mark this with a, with a marker and I'm going to drill out the holes. So I'll take these brackets off of the block, drill out the holes so I can permanently mount the, uh, the radiator there, and I'll have the fans on the outside. Uh, I'll be able to have the cylinders exposed, which I think will look a lot cooler, because I'm gonna have like LED strips running on the inside, and I'll have them running in a sequence of like orange or red, so it kind of looks like, you know, this one will glow, then this one, and then this one, and then this one. It'll look like an engine firing. I think that'll be really cool. Again, exact same thing on the other side. Now, everything's sort of off-centered, so right here, the cylinder is more forward than it is over here. And that threw off the brackets too. But it's fine, right? Because I'm going to have it mounted in a way that it's going to look okay. And again, there's no reference because I've never seen anyone else build an engine block into a computer before. So everything that I do here is kind of going to be 
nothing to compare it with. So it's allowed to be a little funky or whatever. And you know, over time I'll, I'll fine tune it and yada, yada, yada. This is like a spur of the moment idea. And uh, I think honestly, it's gonna turn out pretty cool because of what it is. Another thing I wanted to do, the uh, reservoir and pump combo, I wanted to mount two because I have two of them. I wanted to mount one here and one here. One for the CPU, one for the GPU, right? The only problem is, so the left side of the motor, if you're looking at it from the front, has plenty of space. I can drill all four holes, mount it nice and proper, won't go anywhere. This side has less material. Again, because everything is sort of off kilter on an engine block. So this side I can put, whoop, stepping on the cable. This side, good thing is acrylic. This side I can drill two screws in and mount it like that, but I won't have anything on the other side, especially if I want it to be symmetrical from the front. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna go with one, right? And have it like that. Um, which will probably clean up the loop a lot more, less wires, make things more manageable and easier to deal with, especially for the first iteration. If I want to do something different down the road, I'll probably get an LS because the front of the LS motor, everything is like a lot more symmetrical. It's a push rod. You don't have timing guides and chains running around the front. The oil pump is in a different spot. Like it'll work much better because you got a cannon block in the center. There's just more surface area on the front to work with. But the thing is, I don't think I'll ever build another one of these because the only reason I'm building this one is because I blew it up. And I built a new engine for my Cobra, and I really wanted to turn the, 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 the Cobra's engine into a computer. I wanted to do something really cool with it instead of sending the block out to be scrapped. You know, I wanted to have it live on on my desk and combine two of my favorite things in the world, which is cars and computers. So. Honestly, I think this is going to be the only iteration. I might clean it up and do stuff with it later on because everything's easy to come off. It's all just bolted into the block. Luckily, it's aluminum. So drilling and mounting stuff is so fucking easy. So, uh, yeah. That's sort of an update of where I'm at. And uh, I think it's turning out pretty good. Gotta say, I'm getting pretty excited about it. Might look a little bit goofy right now, but once it's done and like everything's mounted to it, it's going to be fucking sick. I just want to make a quick update uh, my plans with the engine block build. Now, right now, it's sort of like janked together. It's it's not as clean as it could be just because I'm trying some different stuff out, like a new uh, RGB controller and yada, yada, yada. Point is, I really wanted to mount the radiators against the deck of the uh, cylinder block, right? But I didn't because the motherboard tray is too wide. And if I elevated that to make these work, then it's going to sit up too high and it's going to look kind of silly, right? So, I mean, not that it doesn't look silly, it's an engine block as a computer. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I'm leaving behind the uh, X370 chipset that I've been using for a long time. I love this board, mostly because of the custom bits power monoblock. I never wanted to upgrade because I just, I really enjoyed it. But using the 3900X on an X370 chipset, you had to do a custom BIOS on this to make it work because it should only work on the 4000 or 400 and up series. Uh, so it has a custom BIOS. It's kind of finicky. It doesn't always work, and I've always just sort of had problems with it. Works for the most part, but just it could be a lot smoother. So I've gone ahead and decided we're going to abandon that, and I've gone with the Z490G Gaming motherboard. So I have to switch from AMD to Intel because there's not a lot of MATX boards for AMD. Otherwise, I would have probably just bought another board, and been that would have been it. Um, so I'm going to go to Intel. We're going with a 10900K, which is a bit better performance for gaming. Overall, it's going to sort of be like a side grade uh, between the two platforms. But the motherboard is now 9.5 inches by 9.5 inches compared to 11.5 by 13 inches. So that's going to allow me to lay this flat in the valley of the block allow me to move these up to where I want them. I'm probably going to elevate them with sort of L brackets and give it like an inch, inch and a half of space so that you can still see the glow of the cylinders from underneath, but still also get like airflow because you could put this flat against it and it's going to draw cool air from inside the engine block, essentially from the desk. So that will work fine, but also like the idea of being able to see the cylinders and have them illuminate. So we're going to stick with that. Probably just elevate it a little bit. But again, this is a custom motherboard mount that I made that you can adjust and like fit MATX, IITX, you know, EATX, whatever you want. So we're going to essentially use the valley of the block and set it as low as possible. Probably turn it with the IO towards the back. So again, it'll sit like this. It'll be like that in the engine 
or in that setup, which will allow me to sort of make everything a lot more compact, clean everything up. Uh, I do have hard drive cages because I have three mechanical drives that I use because I have a lot of like older games and storage and stuff. So that I'm going to have to do something with. I'm probably just going to get uh, like a 10 terabyte Barracuda and copy everything over because it's a two terabyte, one terabyte, and a four terabyte drive. So I can com uh, compress all that down into one drive, clean that up, mount it on the inside, like with that hard drive tray that I had, that I uh, built, that you've seen in the original photos. So we'll do that, clean everything up. Um, we got a new uh, water block, so I just took the XC5 RGB from Corsair. It's, again, I need an entire new setup because it's X or sorry, it's Intel versus AMD now. This model block only works on this uh, board, so I wouldn't be able to reuse that anyways if I got a smaller board that was still AMD. So that's sort of like the quick update. I'm probably gonna bang that out today, uh, get everything all wired up, cleaned up. That's gonna be pretty exciting. And again, I've seen a lot of comments about like how it would look better if this was mounted up here, which I totally agree. That was my original plan to begin with. I threw this together in like six hours, <laughs> like on my day off last Tuesday. It's Tuesday again, and now I'm gonna redo it. So it's not like I put a ton of time into it. I did have a bunch of ideas. I just couldn't make them work with what I had. Now that it's become such like a popular build, you know, a lot of people are really enjoying it. I really want to put my best foot forward and actually really clean this up. Because, again, I could have 3D printed it, yada, yada, yada. The whole point is I wanted to save the engine block out of my car. Like, this is the one that made 660 horsepower revved to 7,500 RPM. Like, put a big fucking smile on my face for two years before it threw a rod out the side there. And so, like... I love that car. I love the sound of this motor. I love the enjoyment it gave me. And I also love computer hardware. And so that is why it has to be this block. It, it can't be a plastic lighter 3D print. No, it, it's not gonna happen. It has to be this. And so that's what I'm gonna try and do is make it as awesome and as clean looking as possible so that I can keep it as my permanent setup. Cause right now it's sort of, yeah, like it's propped up on there. It looks like it's sort of just bolted to an engine block, which it is. I mean, the best part is how I incorporated the uh, start button right into where the water pump was and I have the wires coming in through here and then up around and then into the, uh, the pins on the motherboard. But again, like I can make it so much better and I'm going to. And again, we're starting with smaller components. All right, so that's a quick update. I'm going to post this to the thing. It's well, quick. It's five and a half minutes. But, uh, yeah, you're going to see this really transformed the next time I post, you know, an actual post about this. And it's going to look great. Trenches were operating in the violence. Heavy with the fool, these guys move. Black, black, 